Hello everybody, it's Kathy here. Welcome back to my channel. Guys, I'm gonna get myself some coffee. I'm a Starbucks lover, so I have some Sumatra right there. I'm gonna make myself some, and we're gonna go for a chit chat. We're gonna go talk for a little bit because I wasn't here yesterday. I'm gonna do 10 ounces, and then we're gonna wait for the coffee to be done. And then we're gonna go chit chat. Um, oh. I switched around my um, hot cocoa bar that I had made for Christmas around New Year's time. I have some chocolate here. I got some those Hershey Kisses the other day from the CVS Pharmacy. It was 50% off, so I got some almonds, some dark chocolate. The dark chocolate has some of the purple wrap in there and red and green. But I'm going to switch it. I'm going to do a Valentine's Day one. So I'm going to be showing you that soon, guys. As soon as I have it all done, I have to put my Valentine stuff out. I haven't done that yet. But we're going to go talk now. My coffee is almost done. I'm just going to add... Oops. Yep, it's almost done. just going to add some Splenda in my coffee. And we're going to go for a chit-chat. So I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Today is... Wednesday the 8th and I have my coffee that I just made and I'm here to just have a chit chat with you guys. Let me just grab the coffee. Oh, let me get it. <laughs> here it is, my cup of coffee. Guys, I just drink my coffee black with um, some Splenda, but I don't put any creamer because it usually upsets my stomach, so I just drink it like this smells so good you guys like starbucks coffee or are you more of a dunkin donuts coffee drinker or you guys buy a different brand let me know in the comments i am a coffee drinker i try not to drink it too much it affects my um my heart rate and it starts racing like crazy and when i get used to drink the coffee like i used to drink several cups a day but then i would be super hyped and then when i didn't drink enough like let's say i was drinking five cups a day if i didn't drink the five cups then i would get migraines and i get migraines as of it is anyway um you know if i'm stressed out or whatever so if i have pain that triggers a migraine so I'm like, I don't need any other reason to get a migraine. So now I just try to drink once a day. Also, the coffee affects um, my skin. I get my face gets super red if I drink coffee. I get like rosacea. So I can't do anything. I'm just so upset. I can't. Everything affects my face. Like I can't eat any... Um, Dairy. My dermatologist gave me a big list of things that I can't do or eat. And I'm like, that's everything I eat. So I just don't pay attention to it. And I just eat it, but try not to eat much or drink too much of the stuff that I'm not supposed to. Like I love balsamic vinegar. I put it in my tomato. I'm not supposed to eat tomato. Not supposed to eat balsamic din uh, vinegar. So I'm like, no cheese. And I love cheese. The very sharp cheese is my favorite, or blue cheese, you know, strong flavors. <laughs> so that those are the worst. So I'm like, oh, I can't do anything. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about cheese or coffee. I'm here because <laughs> this morning I don't know if I've been giving you updates about my foot. You guys know that I had foot surgery in May, end of May, and they put some metal pieces in my foot, and it's just a mess. Anyway, since then, the recovery has been super slow, super, super slow. I had, um, they had to fix my ligaments and everything. So now it looks like it's super tight. So it's not giving out anymore because I had a fall where I twisted it and it kind of tore some ligaments apart and tendons, they need to be repaired. 
So after the arthroscopy and the uh, tendon and ligament repair they did in May, now my foot is super tight. So when I go to physical therapy, it's still not up to the 100. So I still don't have the, um, like the complete range of motion, as you can say, or my foot's not as good as it was prior to my injury, which was in September of 2018. So it's been a while. It's been over a year that I've been having this issue. So um, the doctor said he's going to see me in like three more months. But I also, because of the surgery, had a lot of like... Um, numbness in my right foot that's because one of the nerves got damaged during the surgery and he prescribed a medicine a while ago it was gabapentin he prescribed it in september and i went and picked it up at the pharmacy but that you know how you have to read the side effects and everything before you start taking a medicine and he did tell me that the side effects were bad and some people and all of that so i read it and it said that it you know, if you are prone to depression or stuff like that, people can like commit suicides and stuff like that. And I'm like, I'm depressed enough as it is because my life is like ruined for, it's been like a whole 100% change since the accident that I had on my foot because I can't have an active lifestyle like I used to. I can't do anything. I've gained weight because of the lack of exercise and stuff like that. I've gained like over 20 pounds. That's that on itself. It's made me depressed. And the activity, I used to be a super active person. I was working in a place where I had to be on my foot all day, running from one place to the other. Now, if I were to like find the job, it had to be a desk job. Like I had to be sitting all day. So it's a uh, it's not me i like to be on the move so it's just a mess so um that's also been an issue because this was a work accident so now they are saying they're fighting the um disability rate so my doctor says 75 because i can walk on it uh i can get to the place but i can do my job the job that i used to do 100% so he lowered it to 75 and then the company that it's paying me their insurance is saying 50% so they are arguing on that stuff and now my payment is going to be like a quarter of what it was before so it's, I'm like but I just, you know anyway well I don't want to get to that it's a whole mess guys besides that all of that you guys know that my son Augustine has autism um, he's on the lower end of the spectrum. He's super um, intelligent and he he knows a lot of things. And But the big issue that we have with him is that he does not eat anything but baby food. And it's stage two Gerber baby food and only one flavor a day, which is apple chicken. Apple chicken all day. So he used to eat like 15 of those a day, 15 little boxes, okay? So they are like, like this big, 15 of those a day. We are cutting down, so we are not up to 10 a day. And he's been eating some Greek yogurt because that has more protein. So it has like 12 grams of protein per yogurt. So this is the light and fit. And he eats two of those a day. So now he only eats like 10 of those little foods. So... Oh, but we are bringing him to feeding therapy. Feeding therapy is on Tuesdays for an hour and we have to go back this Friday because he was sick for a while, like in December and we lost some of those sessions. So we're going to be making it up um, on Friday, one of those sessions. Yesterday was a super busy day, so that's why I didn't post anything for you guys because he had therapy with uh, the speech therapist in the morning and then he ate, he had lunch, and then we had to go again to feeding therapy. So, you know, it was a super busy day. And for the speech therapist, they're working on he and she because he seems to get that confused. He often says to daddy she uh, when he talks about daddy he's like oh yeah daddy she's at work i'm like no it's a boy it's a he <laughs> so we're working on that and he seems to be getting it 
he did great yesterday. So um, that was yesterday. We had a lot to do. Also, uh, what else did we do yesterday? Oh, my son was super busy. So my oldest son, because he's here from college, still for another week or so. I think he goes back on his birthday, like the 19th. And he is been using my car. So he's been taking my car because my car is new. Of course, it's a 2019 car with um, seats that warm up. And we're in upstate New York. It's cold here. So he oftentimes takes my car. He goes to the gym and goes here and that. And he leaves me at home with nothing. <laughs> but yesterday I was able to use my car. And I stopped at a Dollar Tree. And I grabbed some things for Valentine's. I... Thought that I was done with Valentine's shopping, but I did get a few things that I hadn't seen at another store. So I did get a couple things. Um, and I've been crafting like crazy because I have a package that I'm sending out to Soleil for her challenge. Last night I was packaging that up. You know, I have a lot of things. <laughs> I'm putting, I saw um, a video from Soleil and she was packaging some things in a pizza box, but I don't have any pics pizza box so I have another box that I'm using and sending the stuff to her <clears throat> in like a plastic box and then I'm gonna wrap that in bubble wrap and some other paper and hoping that's gonna make it alive <clears throat> to Australia also yesterday I had to call the insurance company because because I had um, I haven't been working for over a year I my insurance run out from my old job like I haven't had that insurance for over a year now since I had the accident so now I only have workers comp but it's only for my foot so last year I had surgery if you can see here this annoying cut that I have here in my neck I had thyroid surgery I have half of my thyroid only and the other half they took out because I'm prone to get um tumors all over my body so I think that Whenever I die, I'm going to die from cancer. I have tumors on my breasts. I have them in my uh, thyroid. And I have them everywhere. So, um, you know, I am behind on my doctor's appointments too. So yesterday I decided that I was going to call and try to get myself some insurance, com uh, insurance coverage. Because it's going to be a year tomorrow from my thyroid surgery. It was January 9th last year. 2018. Since then, I had one follow-up like right after the surgery, a few weeks after. And after that, I have not been back to my endocrinologist. And I'm pretty sure that that has to be, um, has to do a lot also with my weight gain. Well, also I haven't been active because of my foot, but also because of the thyroid, this regulates your weight also. So I need to go and do that. So I did that yesterday. I got myself some insurance and it's gonna start the beginning of February. So I have to get myself checked for my thyroid, have blood work done, see how the other tumors are going because I have more. They only took half of my thyroid because the doctor said that I'm too young and he took the half that had the biggest tumor and he left the other side with like three of them still in there. But he said we were going to monitor them and see if they grow. So I don't know if they're still the same size or if they're growing. Um, so we'll see. I need to do that. I also have tumors on my breasts. And I have markers placed on them to see if they you know, are growing. And I'm behind on that too. I'm supposed to go see my doctor and have my mammo and my ultrasound done every six months. And I haven't done any of that this year because I haven't had insurance. So I'm super behind and I have to do, I also need to go see my eye doctor because I can't see the fine print, the little letters anymore. You guys know I'm over 40, I turned 42 in um, December 4th. So um, it's like magic. I mean, you turn, you go past 40 and everything starts falling down. I'm like, oh. I'm like so, so upset. So a lot of things going on guys. So. I will be back soon um, with, well, my son took my car today. He went to shadow uh, the EMS people in an ambulance because he wants to do EMS training 
during the summer. You guys know that he's going to college, uh, he's studying biochemistry, he wants to go into medicine. So for him to do that, he wants to, you know, I don't know, he wanted to try out that, he wants to, um, he would like to do that for the summer, do EMS, so he went and did the shadowing today. And this morning was super, super cold outside, so I told him to take my car, because <clears throat> it was gonna defrost faster um, than his all beat up car that he has, a Volkswagen Jetta, <laughs> It's a 2000, I think, and it's, um, you know, the heat's not working or whatever. So he's like, okay, okay. So he was happy and he took my car. So I'm stuck in here. My husband actually picked me up this morning to take me to my orthopedic appointment this morning that I had. So um, we'll see. Uh, the doctor also said that, I'm sorry, guys, I'm jumping from one place to the other, but the orthopedic said that, because of the uh, tingling sensation and the nerve damage that I had on my right foot because of the surgery, um, he said that I could have another surgery where he could try to like grab that um, damaged nerve and he said he could like bury it into my soft tissue and hoping that was going to resolve the issue of the tingling and the numbing sensation. Because if I touch my right foot, like on the top of my foot, if I like you know wrap my hand on it i feel like pins and needles and it's just annoying and it happens every time when i touch my foot and it's like i don't know so for now i have to keep watching it he said he could do the surgery if i want it or we can just let it be because i didn't take the gabapentin because of the side effects um and i'm already depressed as it is because of my life changing and all that. And that's why I'm doing this YouTube thing. And, you know, anyway. So guys, a lot going on, but I will be back. I've been crafting like crazy for our challenges, for the loaded bag. So I'm super excited. That makes me happy. You guys makes me happy. You guys make me happy. You are my family and you are my friends because because of all this um, depression thing and my foot and me gaining weight, I've isolated myself a lot. My best friend moved to Pennsylvania, so I don't see her that much. And all my other friends, um, you know, they're super pretty and skinny and I just don't wanna see anybody because I feel like I'm ugly and fat and they're gonna look at me and say, oh, she let herself go or whatever, you know, I'm like, and you know, I'm also not in the mood for anything because my dad is sick and I don't know when I'm gonna travel because I have family court at the end of the So I have so much stuff guys going on, so much going on on my plate that sometimes I just feel so drained, so, so, so tired. And I appreciate you guys for being there for me, for uh, the guys that have my, you know, if you guys have my dad in your prayers because of his illness and if you are sending him like these beautiful cards um, for my January giveaway, thank you so much. I appreciate that so very much. I have four entries for now. I know that there are some other coming. He's gonna be so excited when he gets those when I go there. But as of now, I don't have a date for my travel because of all these things going on, especially with family court with my ex-husband and we'll see how that goes when I go by the end of January. I'm hoping that that's going to be it and I'm going to be able to go visit my parents. But for now, guys, um, this is it. I will be back soon. My son, when he comes back with my car later today, I have my Dollar Tree purchases from yesterday in the car that I didn't take out. But I do have some um, CVS Pharmacy that I got the other day. So maybe I'll show you that. Or my crafting. I've been crafting like crazy, so I'll show you that too. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for listening to me, for my letting me bent over here. It's just been a stressful few days. I'm excited that you guys are excited about the loaded bag exchange, and I can't wait to see what everybody gets, and I will see you soon. Bye, guys. Sorry about the mess in my life. Bye-bye.